One of the most consistent patterns in the stock market is end of month pattern. This pattern existed for the past 125 years. At least this is based on the multi-paper research that have been done on this subject. Most researchers agree that the pattern exists because of the paycheck end of the month. Although as an algo trader, I don't care why the pattern exists. I only test it. If it's statistically significant, then I will trade it. But it's really nice to have the fundamentals backing you up. The pattern is extremely simple. You basically need to buy three to four days before end of the month and sell one or two days in the beginning of next month. Now, this pattern applies to all stocks, uh, small stocks, big stocks, indexes, and it actually applies to more than 30 markets globally. So it's not only tied to the stock market. Of course, like everything else on this channel, we need to test to verify if the idea works or not. So in this chart, I loaded the futures of the S&P 400 mid cap, and we can see the trades happening at every day. So here I am trading the 18th to the first. That means we enter on the 18th trading day and exiting on the first trading day. This is an important distinction because the trading day of the month is not the calendar day of the month. So every month has on average 30 calendar days, but every month on average has only 22 trading days. So when you are doing your program, you need to take care of that. Now, some platforms have this built in. So for example, SQX has the end of month and first day of the month built in as a function. So for example, I'm trading, like I said, on the 18th, exiting on the first, but let me show you. So if we start here, this is the 28th of February and the exit is second day of March. And this one is the 28th of April with the third of May and 26th of May with the 2nd of June and so on and so forth. So you see when you say enter on the 18th trading day, it happens, it, it falls on different calendar days. And again, the exit happens on different calendar days. And of course, if you don't do that, then you will affect your performance. Now in my strategy, I'm entering on the next day. So if I say the 18th, then I'm entering on the next trading day. And when I exit on the first, I'm exiting on the next trading day. Now I built three portfolios. So this portfolios will trade the US indexes, S&P 500, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, Russell 2000, and the Midcap 400. And then I have another portfolio of the top 10 stocks in all these indexes. So of course there is an overlap. And then I have another portfolio of the sector ETFs and the index ETFs, just so we can get an idea of what kind of performance we can get on all of these. So first, starting with the futures, I'm trading a single contract fixed and no commission, no slippage. So I did a 100 optimization entering from the 14th trading day to the 23rd and exiting on the first trading day to the 10th. So we get a 100 combinations. And if I sort by net profit, we can see, look at this, 94% are profitable. I have only six combinations that are losing money. And even then, they are not losing by much. But 94% are profitable and a lot of them making a lot of money. Look at this, the top 25% are making more than half a million dollars. So this test was done uh, on this chunk of data, August 97 till August 2022. And the best combination is 14 and nine. So that means the 14th trading day we enter, we exit on the ninth trading day. And the performance is this. So we can see the breakdown by symbol. Uh, the Dow Jones is doing <laughs> amazing, 327. The next best is the mid cap and then the S&P 500 and finally the NASDAQ. Uh, let's look at the total trade analysis. We have 1200 uh, plus trades, 64% winning. And look at this, the average trade is $648. That is amazing. And this is how the portfolio looks like. Performance overall is 837,000. And annual analysis, so we have the dot com, uh, bubble 2000 2001 2002 and then we have the crisis in subprime 2008 then 2014 2018 and currently we have the drawdown of 
30% that we faced in 2022. Of course, the, this strategy has no filters, no nothing. So this is just raw performance, which is amazing because uh, you can see that 94% of the combinations are profitable. Now let's see the performance of these stocks. So again, we have 100 combinations and let's look at this. So stocks, even more, 95% of the combinations making money and only five combinations losing money. And again, look at the losses. The maximum loss is 33,000. That is, of course, nothing. Let's see the top. So the top is making 6.9 million. Now with stocks, the way I test is starting with $10,000 per stock and always buying the maximum amount of shares that is available to me with a maximum of 5,000 shares. This will keep the test practical because if you buy more than 5,000 shares, I mean, you can't do it, but let's say you might affect the price on the small cap stocks. And with the maximum amount of uh, buying power you can use, then that equates the uh, performance on all stocks again we can see the same pattern in performance so the dot-com bubble the subprime bubble 2014 and 2022 also is facing a drawdown now you might say well look at this it's two million dollar drawdown but remember your profits is 6.9 million uh, so then the two million uh, it's not so bad if you are making 6.9 million Average trade is 741 with 56% profitable. But now we have 9,300 trades. So it's a statistically extremely significant amount of trades. And this is the portfolio with the drawdown. Again, remember, there is no filter. Of course, you can imagine you can easily enhance this with a simple uh, moving average filter. And this is a breakdown of the stocks. And we can see only Costco is losing money. And then everybody else is making money. And some stocks, like look at this, Amazon, 338. Apple, 722. Netflix, $900,000. Look at this. <laughs> and we have a huge drop now. So we are making $900,000 after losing about 1.1 million. So at one point, we are 2 million in Netflix. And Tesla, 1.8 million. Again, this is after losing one and a half million now in a drawdown. So we're making $3 million. Remember, this strategy started with $10,000 per stock. So this $3 million here started from $10,000. And PDCE and CRM doing also very well, about $400,000. And finally, we will test the same strategy, same everything, same data on the ETFs. So these are sector ETFs plus the index ETFs. And this is the same optimization run. So 100 optimization. And now we have 88% profitable and 12% losing money with the maximum loss of $112,000. And the best run is 1.2 million. And also we notice that this time it's 14 and 4. While for stocks, it was 14 and 9. And for futures, it was 14 and 9. This one is 14 and 4. And 14 and 9 is number 15 on the best optimizations. So this is the best one is 1.2 and 14 and 9 making 700,000. So this is the performance uh, by symbol. And we can see that only the GDXJ losing money. And everything else is making money. And the best one is this one, XLF. So and on average is 373. This is how it looks like. It's really an amazing performance for a simple pattern like this. And then periodical returns. So again, so this is actually better. Look at this. So 19, 2000, 2001, we are making money. But again, we lose uh, in 2008. But look at this. 2022, we are making money. So immediately, I want to mix this portfolio with the other portfolios. Because remember, the other portfolio is losing money, not on the same time. All in all, an amazing pattern to use. You can build many strategies using this pattern, directly or indirectly by using it as a filter. I also wrote a blog about the subject where I go in different direction to show you what you can do. The key takeaway is testing. You need to test everything you come across. And you might come across something like this, which is really profitable even after 125 years.
In order to test properly, you need to learn how to do it. And I dedicate one full module in my Algo Trading Masterclass for robustness testing. To learn more, watch these videos and I will see you there.